Hi there students. I've been asked to make a video about the difference between Gerau, Picket and Mutiny. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to start with Picket. Um, to Picket, this is talking about industrial relations. When there's a strike, very often you have pickets outside the company. And the pickets are normally there to stop or persuade workers from going into the company. To, to uh, make problems for the company. Yeah, Normally the picket is there to stop blacklegs or scabs, people who go to work even though there's a strike. And the pickets are uh, normally round the entrances to the factory. Um, let's see, let's look at some more basic meanings of pickets. In a military sense, a picket is like a sentry or a group of a group of soldiers um, who will give an encampment uh, the warning that the enemy is coming. Or if you have um, a column of uh, soldiers uh, marching through a place, you will have pickets. You will have people in front of the column to tell them that the enemy is setting an ambush or something like that. And then you have a picket fence. A picket here is a stake or a piece of wood in the, in the ground. It's very common, these wooden picket fences. I see them in American movies, round houses. It's sort of a piece of wood with a little point and very often they're painted white. A picket fence. Okay, but pickets. These are um, a group of people stationed outside a place of employment dur during a strike to protest, to express their grievance and to discourage workers from entering or leaving, to discourage customers as well, as well from entering or leaving. Um, that's a picket or to picket as well, so yeah. We had, I think, uh, in the, the days of Mrs. Thatcher, the flying pickets. Pickets who used to go from one company to another. Um, okay, Gerau. A Gerau. This is an Indian word. And I also you can have a Gerau or two Gerau. This is very similar to to picket. I think with Gerau, the idea is surrounding a person um, uh, who has been speaking, a politician or something like that, and not letting them leave until they've agreed to your demands or they've agreed to what you, you've you said. If you have a garrow round a business, then this is exactly the same as a picket. But the idea, I think, of a garrow is maybe a little bit more more aggressive. Um, it, and it also talks about surrounding a person. So maybe a politician or the CEO makes a speech to a large audience and then they garrow him. The uh, workers stand round him and they refuse to let him out until he agrees to certain concessions. Um, so, to gerau, effectively to picket, to um, surround a business um, with where, or Im almost imprison it, yeah? So, to maybe almost to imprison the employer on the premises, yeah, in the place. So, there was a gerau around the place of work and they refused to let the um, managers out until they agreed to certain forms of concession. 
yeah um let's see i think to pick it a picket maybe i would give it a six in formality it's um a business word i think a gerau this came into the oxford english dictionary i think some te 10 years ago although you're going to find many people don't know it but i think i'm probably going to give it a six in formality as well now we come to the word to mutiny when i hear the word mutiny the first thing i think of is the army or the navy yeah where the soldiers refuse or the sailors refuse to do what the officers order them to do and they try to take charge or change the uh, the people the people who are running the army very often in a, in a mutiny the soldiers will kill their officials they will kill their officers yeah so it's a rebe a rebellion against superior officers however a mutiny doesn't have to be military yeah it could just be a rebellion against the constituted authority so um if all the kids in a school um refuse to obey the teachers and try to get rid of the teachers this would be a mutiny yeah although i think i might more normally use the word a rebellion yeah um uh, mutiny mutiny that the, i i think immediately of mutiny on the bounty where the this is where the pirates mutinied against captain bly that's because the conditions were so harsh that they weren't going to put it up with it any any more yeah um so i think mutiny i would say for military and how formal is mutiny i think i'd probably give it a five in formality i'm thinking you could use the word mutiny uh jokingly so when when my family refuse to do what i tell them to do i could say i see we have a mutiny or i see we have mutiny in the ranks so it's like i'm the general and they're the uh the ordinary soldiers yeah to commit mutiny or to mutiny yeah okay so let's look at some origins well um mutiny comes from french uh mutine, mutine, uh or mutine a mutiny and that itself comes from latin movere to move okay so mutiny comes from latin i think picket um it comes again from french pique to pierce okay to make a hole in I guess so that makes a hole in the company's business. And then finally this word gerau comes from Hindi um gerav meaning encirclement. Yeah, so and in the gera they the gerau they are the people are circling round the executive or the leader and they're not going to let him go until he actually agrees to their demands so a gerau circling uh, somebody and refusing to let them go until they uh, accede to what you want a picket normally a group of people blocking the entrance to a business um, trying to stop workers going in and out trying to stop customers and protesting and then a mutiny most normally a rebellion of soldiers or a rebellion of sailors although it could be a rebellion of uh people against the legally constituted authority so there you go three good words mutiny picket and get out if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now mutiny pick it and get out